What's up guys, my name is Justin, and I have a confession to make. I'm burned out. I've had a lot of time this past week to think about a lot of things, but it finally hit me this afternoon sitting in my office that it was all pretty simple. I, as a person, as a son, brother, friend, at times boyfriend, at times um, employee, I guess there are a lot of things that have been in my life. I've always felt slash put pressure on myself to meet arbitrary goals that were met by myself or put forth by myself or others and I felt like I had to meet. Whether it be trying to be a great student when I was in school, be a great employee now, be a great family member, whether it be to get a certain amount of content out on YouTube and have some kind of success tied with that, whether it means anything or not, when it comes to sim racing, to reach certain goals and thresholds and win championships and races endlessly, to reach certain achievements on the sim, to have a certain I rating number next to my name or a safety rating number tied to that. Whether it's my health, trying to chase never-ending growth of lung function, to keep my lungs healthy, to prolong my life and keep me functioning as I'm supposed to, or as well as a CF patient can function. Most of these goals through my life I've met and passed with flying colors and always found that a lot of times it honestly comes easy. Thinking back, I've had a lot of periods where I have struggled with the expectation that's been set on my shoulders, again, mostly by myself, but by others as well. I thought a lot this week after the way that our weekend ended at Road America last weekend about what I was pursuing and why in life. I've had burnout before. I've had periods of conflict and uncertainty and failure, essentially, in my own mind. And everyone does. I don't want this to be a martyr and woe is me. And I don't want to be looked at as praise being heaped upon me for being brave, admitting this. A lot of people go through this. They're all brave. They're all heroes. This is just, I'm telling the truth like I usually do. I'm telling it like I always do, like it is. I've had a lot of time, and as someone that's battled these things and a lot of these feelings for a long time, they come from a lot of different places. They come from trying to uphold um, the high mark I've set for myself with my health and CF and being a champion of that community and being a hope for others less fortunate. It comes from being a very successful sim racer. It comes from being someone that's won a lot of championships and a lot of races over a long time. Um, everything I've ever set my mind to, uh, I guess before I get into that, it's, it comes from being a student. I was, once I got my life together and figured out what I wanted to pursue and where I wanted to be, I've always been very smart and very intelligent, hard worker, and I was a fantastic student and an unbelievable test taker. Whether those things go hand in hand, I don't know. But throughout my life, I've always found things when I set my mind to them, come pretty easy to me, usually. I have certain natural talents and gifts like anyone does, and I've been very proud of the fact that I've made the best of mine and made the most of mine and used them for good more often than not. Not always, but more often than not, I've used them for good and for benefit, not just for myself, but for others. And usually when I get these periods of burnout or fatigue or I'm just tired of a function of my life, I mask that and cover that up with the other things in my life that I have going on that I enjoy. Everyone, like I said, experiences this burnout, experiences this, these issues and problems and feeling like they're not going anywhere in life. And that's all very normal. That's how life is because we're all doing this the first time ourselves. You get one shot, take it or leave it. And you make the best of it with what you got. Nobody gets a do-over, nobody gets a rewind, nobody gets to go back and change any of it. We're all experiencing it for the first time as it happens. That's a beauty and a curse. I mean, that's, that's what makes life so beautiful is people only get one shot. Some people shoot for the moon. Some people decide they're gonna wait and maybe they wait too long and they don't get their chance. Some people aim the wrong way and fire in the friendly fire. As someone that's dealt with this a lot in my life and before I go any further I'm good don't worry about me I'm not in any danger or any self-harm or anything like that that's not what this is about I 
feel like in my life I've always had things that I've been good at and enjoyed enough to lean on when other things aren't going my way. For let's call it the last 10 years, just for sake of a round number, I would have considered myself a very good student, a very good sim racer, a very nice, very good person, a good employee, um, and a great CF patient, just to name a few. When any of those things faltered, I always knew where I could turn. If life was going rough and hitting me hard, or school was unwell, or maybe my health was down for whatever reason, or I wasn't feeling so great, I would spend more time on the sim. I would spend more time thinking about my dreams someday and fantasizing about the day I finally get to make that purchase of a Shadow Grey Metallic ZL1 or an Ultraviolet 991 GT3 RS. Those are things that keep me going. They're simple things, but that image in my mind keeps me going. Lately, I've found that all of those things seem to be fruitless pursuits and have me down. Why? I don't know. Ethan used the term earlier in the past when I was talking to him or more he was talking just in general addressed to me but addressed to a lot of people in my Discord. Um, what do you say? It was called like Saturn's Return or something like that. And it's, I guess, a common phenomenon that occurs in people when um, they reach kind of their late 20s and they realize that they've subsequently done too much in their life and not enough. They have a conflict of where you feel like you're trying to cram so much in your life and you need to be leaping forward and keeping up with the Joneses and you should be the CEO of your own company by the time you're 30 and you need to have all this money and wealth and life and success and hobbies and you need to have seen the world and all these things while subsequently feeling like you haven't really done anything with your life, like you've missed it all, but that you're trying to cram too much in. You're trying to do too much at your work. You're trying to do too much in your personal life. You don't have enough time to hit all the things you have to hit to have a healthy, well-rounded, successful life. And again, usually when those things happen to me, I have somewhere to turn, but it seems like all those things at once kind of seem like they're not going anywhere. So I found that term interesting, and I don't know if it's a real term and a real thing, or if it's something that Ethan made up because he's really good at astronomy. I don't know how that works, but I've definitely found that lately I don't know what's going to bring me my next bout of happiness. And that's very interesting because I've never had that before. And again, I'm good. It's not a concern. I'm not unhappy. Don't get me wrong. I just, all the things that usually excite me about life and that I'm passionate about and love doing haven't done that for me the last couple of weeks. And I don't really know why that is. And so, again, this is not some bravery trip about me admitting my shortcomings or my fallacies or anything like that. It's just me wanting to talk and have people that can relate to someone publicly saying, it's okay not to always be okay. It's okay to be confused and lost and broken and sad and all these things. Again, that's part of life and you don't know it until you get there because we're all experiencing this together. What does that mean for me moving forwards? Well, I've done some serious thinking about it and I am leaning heavily towards changing my approach for enjoying my car, enjoying Bluey the Camaro. I think I would like to take things a step back and reset my expectations for next year. What exactly that means, I don't know yet, but I would be very surprised if that ended up with four track days at Road America, for example. In my health, I am tired of caring for my lungs and my digestive system and all the other things that come with CF, my migraines that I get with uh, my sinuses. I'm tired of caring for all that just for it to seemingly not matter. What's going to happen in my life is going to happen, which is a very confusing thing, but I'm tired of all that weighing on me. For my job, I have a couple people that make my job more difficult than it needs to be each day, but I'm tired of putting my all into it to feel like I'm not getting rewarded. And I don't know what that means. This is not me auditioning to have you make me the CEO of your company, but I'm not going to make apologies for the way I feel about things in my job anymore. I'm not going to say you're trying to do my department for me. We're doing it my way. So this is how it's going to be. And this is how I'm going to move forward with it. 
for the sim. I don't know what that means for racing and content creation, if there are fewer races on the channel moving forward because I'm trying to take time to do other things or do nothing. Forgive me. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. Again, I am not giving up iRacing. It's been my main hobby for more than a decade now. But if there's less racing going on, I apologize. Please bear with me. There's a lot of things that I'm trying to balance and work through and fight through and have to deal with right now. Um, the last several weeks, as I've mentioned, have been so incredibly busy for me between being in a wedding across the country, preparing for this track day, dealing with health stuff and other changes, and it's the past six weeks have been an absolute whirlwind. And now that all that's finally kind of calmed down and I have time to think and get my thoughts straight, I like, my head is no longer spinning and I'm going just on the need to keep going. Now I'm just like, well, what, what am I doing? What have I accomplished? Why did I put so much effort in all of this? Because now I don't have any benefit from any of it. It was just a thing to do. So again, I don't know if there will be less content, less things in my life that I do, if I want to narrow my focus to the things that I do and enjoy for my hobbies, if I want to try to find a new hobby, um, if I need some other kind of fresh start or reset, I don't know. Um, again, hopefully there will still be racing involved because racing is my main hobby, my main passion, whether it's stuff to prepare or new info I have for Bluey and events we're going to do next year. I don't know. I will let you all know as soon as I have a more of a game plan for that, but we'll see. Just need to do more thinking. I hope you understand. And then again, on the sim, there will still be racing. I'll still have my league that's uh, going on and it's going to be great and I'm very excited for it. But I don't know what it's going to look like as far as official races, other leagues. It's, it's going to really depend on how I feel and what I feel like doing. And it's probably going to be hopefully a lot with friends. I don't have a whole bunch of things. I just enjoy running by myself and putting hours of practice into for nothing. But we'll see. Because to put it short, as far as IRC is concerned, other than my own league and the friends I've made through there, which I'm very thankful and very blessed to have, I don't care about anybody anymore. It doesn't matter. I've done what I had to do. Um, I've talked with some people and they've been like, dude, you're, what am I, an 11 or 12 time league champion. I'm an overall world champion in the points championship chase. I've won races that pay hundreds of dollars to win. I've won thousands of races in my life. It's been a heck of a ride and I'm 26. I have so much time left to go, hopefully, God giving. But maybe it's time to step back and make a change. Maybe it's time to shake something up and do something a little bit different or not worry so much about what the numbers say or what the outside world says or what everybody throws my way. Maybe it's time just to be me. Whatever that means, I don't know. Maybe it involves all the things I've been doing in the last 26 years. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's some of them. But I just wanted to explain where my head's at because I know a lot of people sometimes on the internet and in life in general feel alone, and I don't ever want anybody to feel like that, so please contact me, come to me. Um, it's okay to not be okay, like I said earlier. It's okay to have these times and struggles and feelings, and you just gotta find a way to keep going, and for each of us that looks a little bit different. So I'll find my reason, I'll find my way to keep going, and I hope you all understand, and I'm so thankful and hopeful that all of you will be here when we get to wherever we're going together. So that's my thoughts. Um, I don't know if this is going to mean anything or if this is even going to be published or how that's all going to break down. But again, I just want to thank each and every one of you for all your support as far as track day content, Camaro content, uh, my life, um, iRacing content. Maybe we'll get into some more Justin's chats. It's been, what, five years now since I've done a Justin's chat video. Those were like the first things that were on my channel with Justin chats. I sit down every week and talk about life, talk about things that happened to me, talk about it my stories. I think there were 52 of them. So go, go look up Justin's chats if you're not an OG and you haven't seen some of those. Some of them are pretty interesting, but some of them are kind of rambly, but that's not the point. Who knows? But I just wanted to thank each and every one of you and let you all know that I was good and uh, just prepare you for some potential change coming up because maybe it's time I need to look in the mirror instead of trying to look so far ahead that I can't see over the horizon. So. Maybe I need to look at my own two feet and what I've just done and look right in my immediate circle and start with that. So we'll see how it goes, but I appreciate it. Jeez, I went through the whole thing, 14 minutes, 52 seconds, and now I start forgetting how to English every time. I swear, I never failed, but I promise I do know how to English. But 
I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate if you drop a like on this. Um, if you have someone that you know is struggling or has struggled, share this with them. Um, again, anybody can feel free to reach out to me in any discipline, any form, and just rant to me, ask for help, advice, questions, whatever. I'm very happy to answer and help anyone that needs it. Um, but I love having these discussions, even though this is just me standing in a hallway right now. But you all hopefully will see this at some point. And um, we're all in this together, like I said. So we'll see how it works out. But I want to thank each and every one of you again. And uh, hope you all have a wonderful day. And we'll get on to what's next and keep chugging along. So that's going to be it. Until next time, as always. Okay, bye.